It's very early in the morning around here. Um, I was on a long day yesterday at work, so I had a 14 hour shift yesterday. Um, I've just woken up to start doing the normal jobs of a weekday. Uh, getting the kids packed lunches ready, get ready to do the school run, and then once I get back from school, I'm gonna go for a run. Got a few things planned for today that I need to get done, so I'll take you guys with us. Um, first of all, I need a coffee. I need a banana to fuel my run and then I need to get ready and look a little bit more presentable. So yeah, let's take you guys with us. Happy Vlogmas guys! Morning Harry! Mm -hmm. Morning, sorry, you got your mouth full. You had your advent calendar this morning? No? Not yet. Okay, should we open it in a bit and find out what we've got? Yep. Yeah, so that's a good idea. He's just having his... Cheerios! While watching his favourite YouTuber. Who's your favourite YouTuber? You're supposed to say mummy. Mummy. <laughs> oh Harry. <laughs> I'll leave you to eat your breakfast. So that is it. Pat lunch already. Harry's got a ham and cheese wrap. Emily has got pasta and cheese. Yeah, this is kind of what we make when the kids don't eat sandwiches. Who doesn't eat sandwiches? It's very hard on a picnic. But yeah, I have to make fresh pasta every morning. Harry! Come here! Pat lunch in your bag please! Get your shoes on, coat on, we're off! We're just waiting to take Harry into school. I don't want to get out of the car. It's cold and windy and wet, even though I'm supposed to be going for a run. The weather looks awful. Yeah. Should we just go home? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. 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 You'd like that, wouldn't you? I'm afraid not. He's got to go to school. So say bye, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I'm just going to take him into school now and yeah. I'll catch you in a minute. Bye. So it's days like today that I really wish I hadn't quit the gym. The wind is blowing so bad and it's starting to rain and yet yeah, I'm supposed to be going for a run this morning. I'm now just debating do I go and face the elements and stop being a wimp of a runner or go downstairs and do a workout in front of the telly where it's nice and warm. Yeah. I can't quite decide yet. I don't know what to do. What would you guys do? Would you go and face the rain? Or would you go out? Would you stay downstairs where it's nice and warm? All ready to go. Made my decision. I'm going out. I must be crackers. Hat. Coat. Ah, I'll be fine. Maybe. Wish me luck. I did it. I survived. The rain wasn't too bad actually. The rain really held off. I probably overdressed a little bit with the hat. I had to take it off halfway through and then my ears that's what's the problem with me when I run but it's a bit cold and I don't like it causing me to get earache so I probably should have just gone out with my hood and my headband to cover my ears which is it just a short little 5k about right, three miles I was gonna do a lot longer today but I just couldn't face it at one point the wind just got really bad and I hate running in the wind yeah so that's it need to shower now not looking too too nice so I'm going to go and do a little bit of a hit arm um, strength training and then go and get showered and get on with the rest of my day. Apologies for the lighting around here, it's super dark outside. It's now um, almost lunchtime and it's still really dark. I don't think the sun is going to come out today. Yeah, so apologies for the lighting or if the camera's a little bit fuzzy. But it's now like 20 to 12 and I think this is the reason why I don't get anything done around here because I go for a run, I take my time getting ready. I've just been trying to do some makeup to go to the Works Christmas Do 
bit of a trial run. I'm rubbish. I am totally rubbish at doing makeup. I think I might end up getting Emily to do it. Even my 13 year old will be better at me than doing makeup. All this contouring and eyes and bleh, I don't even know where to begin. We never had YouTube growing up as kids. We never had all these lessons, and I certainly didn't. And I just never bothered. And now it's become a big thing. Ah, I've got too many wrinkles. I think I'm just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We'll figure it out. So I'm gonna go and make some lunch. I have got some bits to do. I need to make some, wrap my Christmas cards today. I need to get them posted. Um, yeah, so lunchtime. Nothing very exciting for lunch today, just a good old chicken sandwich with some lettuce and mayo. I don't normally eat a lot of bread and I certainly don't eat a lot of white bread, but that's all we've got in for now. And I have been craving a turkey butty since I've watched Karen B's vlog. Not quite turkey, but it'll do for now. I'm desperate for a turkey and cranberry sandwich. Just gonna pot on the kettle and make a coffee. There we have it, nothing exciting, just a chicken sandwich and I'm going to be watching a bit of YouTube. Nathan's on at the minute and I'm going to be having a coffee. So, had my lunch now, really full. Bread doesn't agree with me, really, I really don't know why I eat it. It tastes great, but then about five minutes later, oh, I feel full. Not that you need to know this, a complete overshare. So, I've been asked quite a few times um, about my Christmas decorations. Um, people at work, um, when we were doing the um, decorating my Christmas tree. So, I just wanted to show you guys um, the actual decorations we've got. It's decorations we've collected over a few years. We don't get them all in one go. Um, we, David and I, when we first got together, decided that we bought a selection from Ikea to decorate the tree, but we decided we're gonna buy one special decoration every single year, and that's what we've done, just to add to the collection. Now, as you saw when we decorated the tree, the kids help out a lot. It's not symmetrical. It's a bit of a mess. I keep thinking I'm gonna sort it out, but the kids did it, so why should I? It's um, a family-built tree, so I, it's just the way we like it. It needs more lights, absolutely needs more lights. It's a big tree this year. Um, but we've just not had time. Anyway, it still looks pretty, so I'm just gonna chat with you about our decorations. Now, apologies, because I don't know where some of them have come from, but I think this little dude here was our first Disney decoration, if I don't get, um, yeah, I think he was one of our first Disney decorations. I wanna say we bought him in the UK. I could be completely wrong, but yeah. I love him, little Mickey carrying all the presents. He's super cute, isn't he? I think I'll just work my way across and then down. So this one is our new one for the year. We bought this on our latest trip to Walt Disney World and it has taken pride of place this year. I absolutely adore it. It's so pretty. It's I think a lot of people have got this. It's the Cinderella Castle, it's the um, Spaceship Earth at Epcot Ball. We have got Animal Kingdom, the Tree of Life, and the Tower of Terror, all in one little bauble. I'm so happy it made it home. It's so beautiful. Yeah, it's just so nice. Then this little dude we got last year, our little up house. It's, oh, I mean, yeah, it's not very Christmassy, but does it need to be? If you're a massive Disney fan and a massive Up fan. So this is um, a lovely decoration that we've got. So throughout the tree, we've got lots of little uh, Disney baubles, like you can spot a Mickey up there, and there's quite a lot like that. And then there's a little mini down here. Now these little ones, I think a lot of people have seen. These are some of the Primark collection. I think we got that this collection last year. And then we've got some bigger of these versions that I got bought by a friend. Let me see if I can find any. Whizzing down the tree this way. So like this size is we, I got bought by a friend for Christmas one year. She obviously knows me really well. So that came with this in the collection. Oh, spot another one. It's like spotting hidden Mickeys around here. And that one, it's such an amazing collection from Primark. 
and then that one I do like that one a lot um I don't know where else is that yep so this was another one in the little mini collection that we got little cute hand high five um oh I spot another hidden Mickey so this I'll say little dude but big one came from Walt Disney World again it's absolutely massive it's so fragile and I'm again amazed we got it home in one piece and um, the good thing about Walt Disney World they just wrap them so well and if you just wrap it with all your cases mine tend to go in the hard case that we've got the big Samsonite case and they do survive the journey so yeah I love this one too um, oh another hidden Mickey another Disney Primark bauble I'm sure we've got more Disney baubles let's see who we can spot Oh, this little reindeer we just felt was really cute. I think we got it from somewhere like B&M or Home Base or somewhere like that. I think he was a really cute, cheat one. He's so cute, isn't he? Little Rudolph there. Oh, I spot Mickey and the gang in the tree. Again, not very Christmassy, a bit like the up one, but we just thought it was cute. We've got Minnie, Goofy, Donald, and Mickey, so yeah, he's another one that we just really love as well. Oops, let's hang you on there a bit. I think the tree needs watering. Uh, oh, more hidden Mickeys. Or oh, hidden minis with all the spots on. One thing we do need is a new tree topper. Yeah, I don't, I don't love this tree topper. I think that'll be the next thing we need to buy. It keeps leaning. I think we're probably going to need to chop the top of the tree because that looks a bit bent too. So that can be a little job for David. Um, I always seem to put Christmas crackers on my Christmas tree. I don't know whether you guys do. It's just I think my auntie always used to put crackers on the tree. And ever since then, I've done it. Because as a kid, I used to love getting the crackers off the tree. We don't pop these ones. They're just for show. I think the kids have used them over time because I don't seem, think we've seen to have as many as we used to have got some random selection of crackers yeah and then a couple of bigger ones I'm sure there used to be about six of these but um, when the kid put kids put the trees away I think they've gone missing we've obviously got some things that the kids have made so that's also got to go on the Christmas tree so can you spot my little dude there so there's a picture of Harry in a bauble that he made I think this has come from school as well from Emily so that was a gift from her. <laughs> Harry and I made this one at the Christmas fair this year. So obviously he wants this one on the tree. Yeah. The joys of children. Uh-oh. Don't tell him I broke it. And that's pretty much it for the Christmas tree. I did think we had some more. Oh no. I spot some more homemade decorations. <laughs> we have a lot of these little ones lying around the house. We have a few little festive things around the living room too. Don't know if you can spot these two hiding amongst all the presents. We picked this reindeer, cute little reindeer up at one of the Christmas markets one year. I, little, I love these little designs. The kids would have a full collection if I'd let them. But yeah, he's super, super cute. <laughs> this is obviously one of the singing bears. The singing bear does not have any batteries because it's really creepy. It actually tells you a story and sings. Yeah, that's not happening around here. He doesn't have any batteries. Oops. Had an accident. And then, yeah, I've got a little bit of tat lying around. I don't have some tinsel. <laughs> and I don't know why we keep putting things like this out. I made this snowman one year, my first attempt at crochet kids keep putting him out every year but he's quite cute so we have lots of little bits of tat like that lying around the house that's what Christmas is about isn't it loads of little tat we have a Mary and a Joseph and we also have a Santa now I think this little one was David and I's very very first Christmas decoration that we bought for the flat <laughs> I just thought it was really funny it was from BHS yeah, this has caused 
Much amusement for the kids growing up. They could not resist playing with this. I think he had to go up high for many years. Yeah, and then we have, don't have many decorations around the house. We just have a few lights outside. Yeah, like I said, we don't have loads of decorations lying around the house. We just have a few, few lights outside. David would have it like National Lampoon, Winter Wonderland, Eat Your Heart Out. I think we just need to build up the collection slowly. We just, yeah. Who wants to like suck the power from the National Road every year? I know the kids do, but and David does, but yeah. We've got, I've got one more to show you um, and I'm just gonna take you over there to show it you. So this one is a homemade one. I, we, I say I, David made it, I had the idea. I gave David instructions, he made it. So we made this um, mini wreath last year. We got the all the bits from Hobbycraft and the lights were from Argos. And yeah, dead simple to put together. Wrap the lights around, a bit of wire around these two bits and then a giant bow, because we wanted mini. Also the giant bow was able to hide the wire when we used to have it somewhere else, so the battery pack and wire used to be there. It looks so pretty at night, it's so easy to make and yeah, it's just, who doesn't love it? It's really cute. So that's all my decorations. I do feel like I need some more, but maybe we can get some in the sales. Sorry, can you just see a little dinosaur there? Who hasn't got one of these from the Rainforest Cafe or T-Rex Cafe or wherever we bought it from? And a little alien. I can't wait to use this this year. I saw Tinker Tails with it last year with Quality Street in, and that is what we are going to be doing. That's gonna, this little dude is gonna have some Quality Street in for Christmas day, and I'm really excited about that. So that's all our Christmas decorations. I hope you've enjoyed the Christmas decorations. Sorry, I'm up high. I'm stood on I'm stood on a on a bench right now. So yeah, that's a, a quick look at all our Christmas decorations. So I'm going to be doing my Christmas cards now. So I'm going to be watching uh, small vlogs while I do my Christmas cards. Currently watching JJ Extra making mulled wine and talk about sausages. So these are my Christmas cards. How cute are they? The bargain price of one ninety nine, and I think where to get them from? Yeah. Good old Aldi. If you haven't figured out by now, I shop a lot at Aldi. But they are really cute for 1 .99. Look at it. Little snowman. So yeah, these are the Christmas cards. So if I get on with it, I've got lots to do today. Just headed into Aldi to get a few bits. I'm really not sponsored by Aldi. I just, it's a local shop. It's convenient and it's cheap, but I'm definitely not sponsored by Aldi. Yeah, going into Aldi to pick up a few bits and gonna brace the weather before I do the school run. Oh, seriously love Aldi middle aisle. Look at that. I'm just waiting to pick up Emily from school. I didn't leave myself much time to go to the shops, so I literally grabbed a few bits and then left. Went to get some petrol and Tesco petrol station was shut. Yes, my car is now shouting at me, telling me I've only got a few miles to go and get some petrol. Maybe I shouldn't leave it so late. There isn't many petrol stations around here. I've got Tesco's and a Shell. Obviously Shell is really expensive. Um, could I save every penny where we can? Um, but yeah, luckily the car is really efficient. If I'd known Tesco's was going to be shut, I'd have plugged the car in because it's a hybrid, so I'd have ch charged it a bit more at home. Um, but yeah, anyway, we'll go and get some petrol somehow. So we're waiting for Emily to come out to school. It's still dark. The weather is getting worse. It's raining. It's windy. Blech. Don't like it. Absolutely don't like this type of weather. Who minds a bit of rain in Florida? Not me. It's hot, it's warm. Storms are absolutely fine. In the UK, they're seriously rubbish. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Once we've picked up Harry, Emily has got an appointment at the dentist. Typical school life, mum life, this is what we do. 
I then have to cook dinner. Harry's got beavers again. And then I have to cook my dinner. Before I know it, I'm making my lunch for work tomorrow and I'm wake set my alarm for half past five. These are typical days. This is adulting, adult life when you are not going to Florida, I suppose. When you've got normal life to, to live, and this is what most of us do. Whether it's interesting to watch on a vlog, who knows? But you're still coming along with me, so yeah, I'm rambling, absolutely rambling now. Waiting for um probably got another five minutes sat here waiting because obviously I couldn't get the petrol so I am a little bit early for school so I'll catch you when I picked up the kids hello daughter had a good day uh -huh. oh she's a bit blurry you had a good day it's a bit windy yeah yeah excited about the dentist oh I forgot Saz <laughs> yeah that's not thrilled about the dentist is it it's not just a dentist though, is it? It's the orthodontist. It's braces time. All right, let's go and get Harry. This is a face of unimpressed people. Absolutely soaked. My feet are soaked. My hair's soaked. My trousers are soaked. The kids aren't happy. I'm gonna treat them. That's all. Let's do biscuits. Let's cheer you up. Yeah. yeah? Okay, let's crack these bad boys open and then we need to rush to the orthodontist. It's currently four o'clock in the afternoon and it is so dark. It looks really light because there's a security light just over here at the dentist. Oh god, I hate winter. It's so miserable when it's like this. Good night at Christmas. I don't want to get out. Hey guys, so I'm back from the um, school run and the orthodontist. Um, I've just quickly made dinner. We are having a good old spag bomb. Nice and quick and simple. Harry's got beavers. We need to leave in about five minutes and that'll keep cooking for David and I as well. So just something quite simple. I had to quickly get changed into my pajamas because I have just faced the most apocalyptic rainstorm ever. I had to run back out to the car to get something because I forgot something. Yeah, the car key. So I <laughs> left the car key in the car. I had to go back and get it because obviously I needed to lock the car. And I got drenched. So I'm currently wearing my pyjamas and my slippers. So I need to go and get changed because I need to take Harry to Beavers. So yeah, not very exciting around here in the evenings. It's all a bit go, go, go. So I think I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Um, because there's not really much else to show you. Beavers, bath, bed, and that's about it. So thanks for joining me in another Vlogmas Day. I hope you enjoyed watching my decorations. I've loved showing you them. Um, yeah, and don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching again. Uh, see you again in another Vlogmas Day. Bye guys. <laughs>